Over the recent years, we've seen a trend emerging in cyber attackers using a target organisation's supply chain as a route to attack them. This might be to access their data or to access their systems. Organisations are increasingly interconnected. This has very good business benefits, however it does come with security risks. Cyber attackers are very aware of these connections and they are making use of them. Mostly it is due to smaller organisations that might be in your supply chain often having weaker security and hence being an easier target to get into your systems. Spear phishing is one particular example. Everyone is aware of spear phishing being used. What we are seeing more commonly is attackers starting to use legitimate email servers which they have compromised to launch those campaigns. The same is true of websites. They may use a supplier website of yours to host malware. This of course is harder to deal with because as a business you have to place some trust in that website or those emails. We've seen attackers also using direct network connections to get into target organisations. An incident we investigated previously involved an attacker trying several routes into a client's network. Successful occasionally but got locked out again. Ultimately came back in via a VPN connection through one of their partners. We expect to see this trend continuing over the coming years. This is largely because the highly targeted organisations are still better protecting themselves, they're improving their security, but they still continue to use a wide range of suppliers and some of those suppliers, particularly very small organisations, just don't have the resources or the money to build their security up as much as a large organisation would want them to. Compromises will happen. You obviously need to put protection in place to limit the number that do happen and you should apply that protection to your suppliers as well. So you can point suppliers, even small suppliers, at simple measures like following the cyber essentials measures and indeed of course more enhanced protection uh, as required. Because those compromises will happen, you also need to be able to detect them and respond to them when they do. You can't secure every single small supplier, so if you've got the right monitoring in place on your network and the right ability to respond to any attacks, then you can deal with them effectively when they happen.